Anxiously watching and waiting, hundreds of people in El Dorado County have been forced out of their homes as the King Fire, burning just east of Pollock Pines, continues to grow. The fire has grown to 3,900 acres. It's only 10% contained right now. Cal Fire has more than 800 firefighters tackling this fire, which is threatening more than 500 homes at this noon hour. We have live team coverage for you. Meteorologist Eileen Javora is monitoring air quality as this fire is putting up a lot of smoke. But we begin right now with KC. CRA 3's Brian Hickey, who's been on the fire lines all morning long and joins us live from Pollock Pines in El Dorado County. Brian. And good morning. Yes, trying to hear you over the sound of the helicopters that continue to circle over us here off of Deep Haven Road. We're on the north side of Pollock Pines, and you can see behind us this is one concern as crews have been bombarding this from above by helicopter. This little canyon behind us here actually leads up towards Pollock Pines. Now, come over to the north here, and this is the American River Canyon. And now, you get a sense of the challenge that firefighters are facing this morning. That is the north side of the canyon there. This is what they've been battling all morning and now into the afternoon hours as the day heats up. That fire starting to build up heat and intensity, racing up the north side. And that's where the bulk of the fire activity is. But it's over here on the south side that has fire crews most concerned. And if we look off here again, you'll see another one of the, uh, what I've counted to be about a half a dozen helicopters that are continuing in a round robin fashion, bringing water in and knocking out these hot spots on the Pollock Pine side. Of this fire. It's an intense firefight, one that has had these firefighters and residents up all night. In the black of night, trees torch like candles lighting up their surroundings, sending a stream of embers across the dry hillsides. It's this kind of fire activity that has kept Gordon Ole Olson up all night. I've been up all night just to make them sure, you know, and uh, see what's going to happen. And because uh, I got the bulldozer right here handy. Using his own dozer, Olson has cut lines around his secluded mountain home along Deep Haven Road, the same road and dozer lines crews used overnight to backfire, increasing their containment lines around the King Fire's south perimeter. And when the wind picks up, it comes over here and makes a full circle. The torching trees threaten the containment line, raining hot embers from 60 feet up. As soon as they flare up, crews are there to mop up. Well, this is the best view point, vantage point right now. From town, a picnic bench at the Shell Station serves as a gathering place, providing a front row view to the danger below. It depends on what they'll do in the canyon. I mean, they could be, the prevailing winds could be out of one direction and it could shift and uh, change, and it, but it'll be different in the canyon. Wondering if their homes are still there. Bad. It looked like it was right on the other side of our house. Evacuees are left wondering when they'll be able to return home. Best Western tonight. And of course, the roads out here along this fire line very narrow, and so it's very busy with fire crews coming in here. They're simply asking for the uh, public's patience, as you can see the intensity of the fire. Now, here's the concern for fire crews: they've got the the winds going up canyon here in the the heat of the day takes the fire up canyon off to the north. What they're really concerned about on this side of the fire, anyway, is tonight when the temperatures start to cool back down. That's when the wind comes rushing back down the canyon. That's when it circles the flames back around on the area where we are. I got here about 2:30, 3 o'clock this morning. And that's when we saw all of this area here behind me burn out this morning. And they say there's still plenty of fuel left in there, and that is a concern for them tonight. So, a focus today is to really enforce those containment lines on this south side of the fire, on the north side of the fire. Clearly, there's very uh, extreme fire activity over there. It's very sparsely populated out in that area. So, they're really focused on this south side and making sure they keep this fire out of Pollock Pines and keep it from crossing Highway 50. But if those afternoon winds pick up like they did yesterday, of course, that is a big concern. For fire crews, because we saw how that fire blew up yesterday as they continue to monitor it again today. And again, there's a drop there right for you. You can see the crews working right here behind us. These uh, Sky Crane helicopters bringing that water in from a nearby pond. It, they can come back around in just a couple of minutes. They'll have some more water and bring it back in. Like I said, half a dozen helicopters working in a round robin right now to keep delivering fire on this uh, part of the canyon that does lead right up to Pollock Pine. So you get a sense of where they're focusing their efforts. That's the very latest here from the King Fire. I'm Brian Hickey. We'll send it back to you. And Brian, I know, I don't know if you can hear me. I know you've been out there all morning long on the fire line. So I don't know if you've seen the people. Have you seen people that are evacuating since more than 500 homes are threatened at this time? 
Yeah, we've talked to a lot of people in town. The Safeway and again that park bench I showed you in the story there uh, are, seem to be the two gathering places where people are getting information and also uh, able to view the fire for themselves. Uh, but again, a lot of people wondering what is left of their homes out here. And I can tell you, along Deep Haven Road, which clearly we're on the canyon's edge here, this is an area uh, where we've seen no damage to homes. I haven't even seen any outbuildings damaged. The fire crews have done a miraculous job out here because you can see these trees that have torched literally in the backyards of these homes. But a lot of folks have also taken the time to create that defensible space we always hear about. And that has certainly made the difference, but not out of the woods, so to speak, just yet tonight. And you can clearly see firefighters doing everything they can to stop this fire and uh, protect those homes. Brian Hickey, thanks for all the great reports out there for us this morning and this afternoon. So much smoke out there that Brian has been in. And here's one picture sent into our U local site just showing the amount of smoke from this fire sent in by B. Beals 1 from Placerville. Also, you can see in this picture here, sent in from Owens Acres Placerville, they say there was quite a bit of haze this morning as the sun was coming up because the fire is putting up quite a bit of smoke. Let's turn over to meteorologist Eileen Javor with a closer look at any air quality issues today, and not just for in the Pollock Pines area, but as that smoke continues to make its way down into the valley. Yeah, there are a lot of people that are smelling the smoke all throughout this morning, and air quality is certainly an issue, mainly north of where this fire is burning, in a large area actually from El Dorado County through Placer County and into Nevada County. Look at this large shaded area of red. That is where we have unhealthy air in the past hour. So that includes Auburn, Colfax, Grass Valley, Nevada City, up the 80 corridor towards the Alta area, and then again, even extending down into Placerville and Pollock Pines, where we have some of that smoke laying down. That is because we have a light southerly flow out of the south, and that means it's pushing that smoke north. We are expecting some of the wind to shift a little bit more out of the southwest as we go into the afternoon. That would push a little bit more of that smoke higher up the hill, but still a lot of the Interstate 80 corridor feeling the effects of that smoke. The temperature is very warm this afternoon in Pollock Pines, likely at least well into the 80s. Humidity levels on the lower side, about 20%. And as Brian mentioned this evening, they're really going to watch those downsloping winds, those easterly winds, as it could drag some of that smoke and the fire potential back towards the Pollock Pines area and then farther down the hill. Some of that smoke maybe through Placerville. We even had smoke all the way down into El Dorado Hills this morning. So that could be a concern for air quality as we go into tonight and into tomorrow morning. Lisa, back to you. All right, Eileen, thank you very much. If you want more information on the fire, El Dorado County officials have opened up a public hotline. The number is 530-642-7263. The hotline is open from 7 to 7, Monday through Friday. You can also send an email to County at gmail.com. Again, there's the number on your screen, 530-642-7263. And again, if you have to evacuate or leave your home, make sure uh, you can keep in contact with KCRA 3 through the KCRA 3 mobile app and KCRA.com, especially to get updates like this. Well, within the last